hello and welcome to the latest review which is of Hornby R2339 Mallard. Now this is the super detail version from several years ago. Uses the same tooling as the modern version of the locomotive with a few slight changes. But let's have a look at the packaging. Uh, you can pause and have a read of that. But yeah, we have a brief history of Mallard, the A4s and her achievements on 3rd of July, 1938. And if you're watching this video, you've probably got a fair idea on what that is. So this is a quite common packaging for Hornby. They still do this sort and it is like this so you pull the sleeve off and we can see the loco now the internals of the packaging are slightly older and it's actually kind of a preferred packaging for me but uh, let's just pop her out of the red box so in the end here we've got the end label so let's just pull that away and pull the loco out and yep, some of my other stuff has fallen out, so. Uh, so this is a, a curious one, really. It comes with the A4 instruction manual, which has the details of installing the chip in the loco. Unlike the new ones, which where it is installed into the tender. And my one and I think some of these others came with this in memoriam card which uh, is it's interesting and I'm presuming Dave was a employee of Hornby who I'm guessing drew up some of the locos and tooling possibly maybe someone can tell me exactly what it was he did Yeah, I'm just removing some of this packaging and <laughs> nearly dropping the loco. That was not intended. But uh, yep, it has that plastic front. And here we have the loco itself with the super detail tender and the engine. So let's just put this down for a moment. I'll have a look at the tender first. Now, I, I quite like this tender. It's the non-corridor one. It's pretty much the same as what she was preserved with, except the preserved one is masquerading as number. I need to check the number on this. <laughs> 5642, yes. So the tender behind her currently at York is a different tender with uh, 5642 uh, numbers on it. So it's actually masquerading. And yeah, that has the back part of the cam detail and looking at the loco itself, this is, well, this is pre-BR before it had the plaque, which now adorns the middle here, is commemorating her record run. And if we move around to the front. Now, one of the things Hornby really captured quite well is the unique shape of the A4s to to get this curve is very tricky and I I've seen the Backman locos I've seen the Wren versions and it does doesn't look quite right and I think Hornby have actually really captured it very well she has attached nameplates rather than printed and the front of the loco we have this brass whistle and the printed number and class and looking at it underneath as well we have the the running gear and the false mechanical lubricator so yeah uh, as i've mentioned already the chip is in the loco so it only has this basic coupling rather than the wire so installing dcc sound in this would be a lot more trickier I've got a DC chip, DCC chip, but it's uh, 
it's just a basic one. So I'm going to get this one on the track and let's give her a run. Okay, that's her on the track. So I'm going to get her slowly moving off to go and couple up to her coaches. So I'm just going to bring her in with a somewhat illustrious spectator. See how smoothly I can do this. Not very normally. Ah, not too bad. And let's pull away. She's slipping a bit, but uh, she'll get her feet. She needs a good service, in fact. Probably been in the box for a year. <laughs> You know what? Mallard will never ever, ever be dull to look at. Okay, I'm just going to bring her into a shot for my final conclusion. There we go. Smoothly done. It's Mallard. It's one of the most famous locomotives in the whole world. It is the record break it holds the record for um not only the speed record for steam traction but it also has some point to point records um i think it's what got one of the fastest climbs of stoke bank as well i'd need to double check that but uh yep she's got a few um i think she did one of the greatest last runs uh along the East Coast Main Line for the A4s. So I can't emphasize how special this loco is and how special it is to any rail fan throughout the whole world. Much like her older brother, I suppose, Flying Scotsman, who is the most famous locomotive in the world, Mallard was just that little bit more stylish and very much faster. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to bring more Locos to you very soon. And I hope you enjoy some of the new videos which I've been bringing to the channel and how I'm trying to change things up a little bit. So please like, subscribe and share this video. Please comment if you would like and I will See you in a future video. Farewell for now. Just a little addendum really to the Mallard video, which I've literally just shot and about to get packed up. But I've been using these Pullmans in the last two videos at least. And the two back ones, the Brake and Rosemary, are the old railroad models, which I believe date from the trying times. And these three came from a train pack, which uh, I've got the feeling they were in a Great Western train pack. I'd need to check, but um, I don't know what they were with. But uh, yeah, they were a coach pack. Slightly different. You could see they have, these two have the silver roofs these three have white and uh, none of them are the premium models with the additional lighting on it though so but yeah i'm they're not really for me but yeah so i was just packing up and i thought i'd just add this little bit bye <laughs>